you did all the right things? I, I think uh, I play perfect poker uh, until uh, it's up. I don't think I play perfect it's up. I think I can do much better in some spot, but uh, I was carded for uh, a lot, a long time. So I don't know. They, they say that I play perfect poker, but they love me. So <laughs> it's too easy for them. <laughs> Tell me about your relationship with Hossein. You guys were hugging, you guys oh, were high-fiving. He's a, he's a really good guy and I met him a uh, long time ago. So we are friends and uh, uh, I really love him. So I'm really happy for him. Of course, I want to win this, but uh, now he, he, need, uh, he is the winner. So, bravo. <laughs> Last question for me. Alex Livingston, when he got eliminated, he said, I made seven new friends. And Dario, Dario is my brother. <laughs> Why do you think people love playing with you so much? Because uh, we live this experience together. This is not a normal tournament. This is a tournament where people uh, know each other and uh, every, every people uh, play this final table feel uh, amazing uh, emotion. So only who play in that moment can understand which emotion they, they, they try, they feel. So we, we know which, which feeling we have and we support each other in this final table. We are in uh, this, uh, in the last three days, we are like a family. Yeah, and it's really nice because uh, when you play a roller, super a roller, it's never like this. It's like someone hates you. So you don't go play with, uh, with good uh, spirit. Here is different, it's another kind. And I think poker have to change like this. <laughs> Is he a tough opponent to play heads up? He has a really good heads up record and it seems like he uh, kind of kept you on your toes. He, like play, he plays super nice heads up. He's, he's really tough and he changed his game uh, about my game. I, I'm good heads up, but he plays super nice. What can you say about the atmosphere here? It's like a oh, it's, soccer or it's, it's amazing, yeah. It looks like final German Italy or <laughs> something like that. And uh, it's really funny. For poker, I think he's perfect. We need this. Now all time, huh? Yeah, I, I'm, happy, happy, I'm happy about it, but uh, I hope uh, my friends uh, here uh, can uh, beat me and then I beat him. We love each other so, and uh, we have uh, a really good relationship. You had, a, you had a really great summer overall and I think you had mentioned that you took less time for poker, maybe a little more time for yourself, for your friends, for your family. Would you say that you think this actually improves your game? I, I think it was good for me to stop uh, poker for a bit because uh, poker is amazing but if you play every day you lost too much time for, uh, for uh, the real life and you, didn't, and you need to don't lose what is in, really important in the life. So in this case it's, it's perfect because I play poker sometimes and I live my life so I can do everything I want. It's amazing. Did anything stand out as a turning point in the match or a key hand to you? Uh, say it again, please. Did, did anything, was there a key hand or a certain turning point in the match? That you uh, mm, no, I think uh, in the heads up match uh, um, I was really carded for all the day. So I don't have a lot of moves to do. And uh, I, play my I try to play my best. For the first two hours it was really tough because uh, I was really... Uh, I, my emotion was really high, so, but then uh, I, I think I play, I play good. Not perfect, like how I want to play, like how I think I have to play, but I play nice. But coming in seventh to the final table, you, this has to be still an incredible achievement. I think everyone is super impressed. Could you tell us just overall what your feeling and experience was like from the final table? Um, the problem is with the words, you can't explain how you feel. Even in Italian I can't explain, <laughs> but uh, it's something crazy. You really feel something amazing. So you only have to try for understand how I feel. <laughs>